Hi everyone, this is Beale's quick review of the skull. We're gonna cover sphenoid, ethmoid, and a couple of extra foramen. Internally, we're looking at the cella turcica right here. This is the indentation where the pituitary gland sits. On either side, sticking out here and here, anterior clinoid processes. The back of the cella turcica right here, this plate sticking up, I don't know if you can see it. That plate right there is dorsum cellae. Um, superior orbital fissure and optic canal. So running through just medially to anterior clinoid, this hole takes you out the optic canal. And if you tip the skull up and you look underneath, I see a number underneath that. Um, it's not ideal to see the, the uh, fissure line there. Let's look in the back of the bony orbit here. The hole that you're looking at right there, the medial hole, that is the um, optic canal. And then laterally, lateral to that, the crack, and I can't point because I'm trying to hold the skull, is the fissure. So the more medial hole right there is the canal, and laterally and inferior to that is the superior orbital fissure. Uh, jumping down to the, I'm losing my spot, uh, foramen ovale. If we look at the foramen, so go to the dorsum cellae. Lateral to that is foramen lacerum right there on either side. And if you jump lateral to that, you see this oval foramen right there. That is foramen ovale for you. Um, lesser wing and greater wing of the sphenoid. Watch the suture line here, but this shelf structure right here on both sides, that is the lesser wing of the sphenoid. Underneath here, um, is the greater wing. You can't really see the suture line super well on this, but the suture line is on this side. It's right here. You can see the suture line. So kind of up underneath here and the back portion here, that is the greater wing of the sphenoid. Um, the pterygoid processes, you have to flip the skull over. And we're looking kind of... Um, hard palate coming back from the wisdom teeth here. This lateral plate right here, this is the lateral plate of the pterygoid process. And then right here is the medial plate of the pterygoid. So same thing over here. This is the lateral plate and then the medial plate right there. <clears throat> the ethmoid, real quick, the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid is the top portion of the nasal septum. The Christogalli, also part of the ethmoid, you're inside the skull. The Christogalli sticks up right in the middle. It's the little kind of nipple structure sticking up. On either side of the Christogalli is the cribiform plate, and you can see the little foramina for a cranial nerve one olfactory nerve. Um, and the concha are part are inside the nose. So they kind of look like shelves inside the nose. The inferior nasal, this is an inferior nasal conch, and then the middle one is the higher one that you can see. Same thing on this side. You can see the inferior nasal concha, and then the middle one is that one. You cannot see the superior from this view. Um, the other thing you need to know here, I guess jugular foramen pops up again. It is underneath here, and I can't hold the phone and do this, but it's this larger foramen, kind of superior lateral to the foramen magnum there in the middle. And if I flip it over here, it does appear to go under the occipital condyle. So on this view, you find the occipital condyle. It's this big foramen that goes underneath. That's your jugular foramen.